We now have the exciting opportunity because we're starting at chapter 1, verse 1 of a new book in the first reading today, and that is the book of Revelation, or the Apocalypse. Apocalypse and Revelation come from the same word, which is like revealing, being revealed. So if you want to, you can follow along every day and then go through the book of Revelation And then if you want to, you can get all caught up and exhausted by the mark of the beast and the Antichrist and when the end is going to come. You can, but I'm I'm not going to recommend that uh, because you'll just get tired and you'll just get frustrated and that's all, that's just pop theology. That's, That's just flashy stuff on the top. Yes, it's in the scripture, but there's some... There's much, much deeper and much more life-giving stuff in this book than just the weird acid trip visions that, you know, people kind of stay away from because they don't understand them. The point of this book, yes, it is talking about the end times, and yes, it is talking about Christ coming again, but it's talking about tribulation and it's talking about pain, but the main message of Revelation is having endurance under pressure and under tribulation. Because there's a theme in the book of the martyrs, the prophets, all those who've been oppressed by whether it's a government, a modern government, or whether it's the king of that time, or whether it's our own sinfulness and our own betrayal of God. We are being oppressed and we are being kept from God. But we continue to wash ourselves in the blood of the Lamb. We continue to keep our lights going. They talk about the different cities that have either kept their lights, kept their lanterns held up high, shining, or those cities who have let those lights fall. Endurance, light, peace, these are all themes that run deeper in the book of Revelation than just the end of the world and people being punished and blood flowing rivers at a time. So, Even though we may be looking forward to the end because we are getting close to Advent and that's kind of what our readings are doing is looking at the end of things. But we don't need to look at the end of the world yet or even the end of our life. We should look at the end of our sin because some of the weird, sad stuff that happens to the people here kind of happens to us every single time we sin and then every single time we go back to confession, every single time we go back to the Eucharist. There's turmoil, there's thunderstorms, there's all these strange happenings in our hearts. But then when we turn, repent, and have endurance, going back to his table and back to his forgiving arms, then we have the peace, we use our endurance, and we have the serenity that is offered to the people who endure in this book. So as we dive into that deep ocean of revelation, let's keep in mind that It's all about endurance. It's all about trusting in him, even when it gets sad and weird and strange. Because he already won, and that's the great revelation that John wants us to know. Amen.